I'm not putting any butter or margarine on the bread. That's one less thing for Mom to put away later on. Now, I always keep a tray of pizza fixings in the refrigerator so they can make whatever kind they like. And the pizza sauce right out of a jar. Just spread it on your bread. A spoon, just like this. These are great, too, on sourdough bread. Makes it taste a little more like a pizzeria-type pizza. A little bit of pizza sauce. And then any kind of topping you like. Now, the kids are real fond at my house of pepperoni, so I'm just going to throw on some pepperoni slices here. Cooked ham or sausage. This is a great way to get rid of leftovers. Anything that you uh, have in the refrigerator is fair game for a sandwich, at least it is at my house. Now, I have some mozzarella cheese here. We'll just load that up in the center. And if you like olives or pepperoni, mushrooms, a little bit of green peppers on that one. And here's some mushrooms. That's my favorite. Nice thing about this is everybody can make it to suit them. We do a lot of entertaining at our house, and I'll just put out this, this uh, plate of fixings and another tray of different kinds of breads and let everybody put together their own pizzas. Now there's your second slice of bread, and once again, we're going to close it down. Now notice this latch. When I close it down, it locks in place, and that's what seals the sandwiches at the edges and cuts them as they cook. Now that's going to take about two minutes to cook. So let me show you the machine. You've got a non-stick vegetable-based material that's baked right to the metal. It's eating all day long. You can be sure it's kept real, real busy. One of their favorites is to take beef stew and make beef pot pies. You can use these refrigerator biscuit doughs for the crust. Just pat it out flat and lay it in there instead of slices of bread. And when I'm not around, those boys will even take leftover spaghetti on leftover garlic bread and make spaghetti sandwiches. Anything works. Now, there's our sandwich. All nicely browned, no butter or margarine on that bread. And it's all sealed so you can send it off to work or school in the lunch pail. Now, if you've got little ones around the house, the ones that only eat the centers out of their sandwiches, I'll show you a little trick you can use. Take that sandwich, place it back across the cutting bars so it's going the other direction this time, close it once more, and we're going to have four little hors d'oeuvre sized sandwiches in just a couple of seconds here. Now, most of the time, these end up getting eaten on the way to school, I wrap them in a paper towel and send them out the door with the kids. But if they can sit down to breakfast, that's a beautiful, nourishing breakfast. And it's easy for the kids to eat. Here's our little hors d'oeuvre size sandwiches. And the little ones love these. You notice they're all corners, no middle, so they got to eat the whole thing. Now, let's get the pizza out of the oven. Again, nicely browned. And remember, there's no butter or margarine on any of this food. And all of my filling is locked inside the pizza. It's not running all over the inside of my skillet here. Let's take a look at the inside and see how they look. Oh, what do you think? I expect the boys to come running in here any minute. You know, if you're buying those Pillsbury uh, turnovers and pockets and things like this at the grocery store, this is how you can make the same product at home for just pennies. And there's a whole lot more filling in mine than the ones you buy out of the freezer section. And next, we're going to show you how to bake with your snack master, and we'll make some cinnamon rolls and some cornbread. Okay, now I want to show you how you can bake with your snack master. It'll bake any of these wet batters in only four minutes. So that means something that would ordinarily need to go in the oven for 20 or 30 minutes at 400 degrees is going to bake in here in only four minutes. Muffins, snack and cake, gingerbread, cornbread. Eight o'clock at night when the kids say, don't we have something for dessert? I can have cupcakes on the table in only four minutes without turning on the oven. Now what I've got here is a little corn muffin mix, and I've mixed it according to the package directions. But instead of 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven, I'm going to bake it in the snack master in only four. Now all you do is just pour the batter right into the center of the wells, just as if you were filling muffin pans. And if you want to get a little creative, 
Sometimes I put a little crushed pineapple in that, makes it like a Hawaiian cornbread. Sometimes I dice some jalapenos in there, make Mexican cornbread. Or if I've got a lot of little kids around that I'm feeding, I'll push a half of a wiener or a hot dog right down in the center of each well, and that's going to give me little corn dogs in only four minutes. Now you can also bake your refrigerator doughs in the Snack Master. Your, your cinnamon rolls or your, uh, your crescent rolls or even refrigerator biscuits. These would ordinarily take 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Let me show you how to bake them right in here in only four. Now instead of spreading them out individually on a plate, I'm going to go ahead and push two of them into each well here. And I want to show you something kind of special about your snack master. Remember when we made the sandwiches, we latched it down. Because when you push that down on the latch, that's what does the sealing of your sandwich. When you're cooking something that needs to rise, like your corn muffins or your doughs, you want to leave the machine so that it's resting on the latch, not locked all the way shut. So with my cinnamon rolls here, I'm going to lock it for just a second, long enough to make them spread out and fill the wells evenly. And now I'm going to hook it off the latch and you watch, that's going to rise, but over here, I'm going to show you something kind of special, one of my favorite recipes to make at home. I have a lot of leftovers sometimes to deal with, so what I've got here are some instant mashed potatoes that were left over from last night's dinner, and I've added a can of tuna and a beaten egg and a little salt and pepper, and I'm going to make some tuna puffs in here. These are great for a light lunch with a salad, because there's no bread in this one. So all I'm going to do is just push those right down into the well here. And go ahead and load them up. You've got a nice deep well, top and bottom, so there's plenty of room to put plenty of uh, food in there. Don't be skimpy. And you don't have to fill both sides of the snack master. So if you're just cooking for yourself, go ahead and just fill one side. Now let me latch that right down. And now we'll have a little bit of fun. One of the favorite things around my house is Mexican food. And you don't have to use just bread and doughs in your snack master. You can also use things like tortillas. Corn and flour tortillas all work excellently in here. When I make quesadillas, I use my flour tortillas. And you notice these are round. Don't try to trim them to fit yourself. Let the machine do that trimming for you. Now I'm going to use just a little bit of margarine this time because that kind of helps to keep them from drying out so much. So I use a little paintbrush, as you notice, and I'm just going to brush it on there lightly. A couple of layers here. And we'll place those tortillas in there with the butter side down. And now let's go to the refrigerator and get our goodies to put inside. If you want just a plain quesadilla, you can just layer in your cheeses. You can use your Jack or Swiss or mozzarella. We'll put a kind of a combination in there today. And any of your fresh vegetables, your peppers or your olives. How about some tomatoes? Don't those look great? And then don't forget your taco sauce. Right out of a jar. Just going to pour a little sauce right on the top. If you want some meat in these, that's okay, too. Some crumbled up hamburger would go real good inside there. Now my top tortillas. I'm just lightly brushing these. You don't want to put too much butter or margarine on your food if you use it, because that will keep the uh, sandwich from sealing properly. So that's going to be the top crust right there. Now don't worry about what's not inside the machine, because once you latch it down, anything that's hanging out over the edges, you're just going to trim away and that's not going to get eaten anyway. The machine will actually do it for you. Once the latch is locked, it'll trim that off for you. Now, you've got an 80 recipe cookbook right along with your Snack Master. Lots of recipes and ideas in here to get you started. You're also going to get my helpful hint pamphlet, which gives you the recipes I'm cooking right now and a lot of information about using things like tortillas and egg roll wrappers in your Snack Master.